Hi, welcome to another Creator Answers. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to process your audio for free. Now, you're probably wondering what does processing audio mean, which is fine. Now, processing audio is when you get your balance and your volume level and your noise reduction, and all of that sound is nice and level and sounds good, just sounds better. There are several ways of doing this, and later in this series, I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to use some premium software tools to do your own sound levels and your own compression. But in this one, I'm going to show you a great free little hack, which is actually the one I use because it saves me so much time. So if this is interesting to you and you want to get more of these sorts of videos, hit that subscribe button and hit that alarm bell to be kept informed of all my content. Okay, let's get straight into it. Audio processing. Just to be clear, you possibly don't even need to do this, okay? Most video bloggers don't, they don't really care. For me, however, and for a lot of other creators, I really want to put out the best quality production that I can. And sometimes I put out a video and the audio isn't perfect. There's a couple going out on Caboose right now where the audio is clipping. I really messed up the audio, but I didn't have time to re-record. It drives me nuts. However, there are ways that you can mitigate this. And what the tool that I use for literally every single video is called Ophonic. And it's a web-based tool that you upload your files to, and it does the magic. For free, you can get two hours a month of recording time. If you're doing short video blogs, that's probably enough. And it's quite inexpensive to go and buy more. I actually pay a subscription to excite use more than that, but let me talk you through it. So first of all, go to orphonic.com and create an account for yourself. You just log in, it's as simple as that. That then takes you to your dashboard where you can see you can upload files, create projects. I'll often use the batch project file because I'll, I'll record several videos at once and then upload them all together. Now, the easiest way to keep this simple is before you start, create a preset. As you can see on the screen, I'm using a preset called video blog. And on that, I have the following settings set. Pretty much everything is turned on, filtering is turned on, noise and hum reduction is set to auto. I've never needed anything else, it just works. The foreign background is set to auto. You can tweak this if you want to, but again, it's always just giving me really good results on full auto. I use my output format as an MP3, so it keeps it nice and small. I use quite a high bitrate, I use 192 and AAC MP4. It's small, it sounds great, it's good enough, especially for just your voice, because it's not a very wide range of sound it has to capture. I set it to mono, particularly useful with the Zoom recorders, because they record everything in stereo. So this makes a mono soundtrack, which is all you want for recording dialogue like this. I then turn on the adaptive leveler. I turn on the adaptive noise gate. I turn on the cross gate and I set my volume settings to minus 23 LUFS, which is basically the same as broadcast in, in Europe. You can set it to video blog if you want to go a little louder. Some people do. But I like it being quite relaxed and, you know, it's quite a nice sound. But you know, your, your mileage may vary with this, but that's what I use. And that's it. I then upload my files, wait a little while, a few minutes later, boom, brand new process audio with compression enabled, with auto leveling, with background noise removed. The thing is magic. It is absolutely fantastic. I don't even get any money for recommending them. They don't do affiliate links and I really wish they did. It's such a useful tool. Then I go back into Premiere, which I use for editing. I resynchronize my audio and it's done. And the sound, you're, you're listening to an off phonic process track right now. And bear in mind, I've got a fan on right over there. I shall quickly switch over to the unprocessed soundtrack just so you can hear what that's like. There you go. This is what it sounds like without, this is the raw wave file that's being recorded on my F4. You can hear there's noise, the level is you know, quiet or loud. And if I move around the room, you'll hear me get noticeably quieter because I'm moving further away from the microphone or I get closer and the volume increases again. But of course, with the audio balancer, with the, with the euphonic balancer, you get none of that. It's quiet, I can move further away, and it, okay, you're gonna get some additional reverb, but the volume will stay the same. Or I can come back closer and the level stays the same. So that's it, Orphonic. Absolutely brilliant and free if you aren't using more than two hours a month. I highly recommend it. Hopefully you find that useful. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe, dislike, it's all engagement, it's all good. Popping up on the left will be my most recent video, and down below it somewhere will be the one that YouTube recommends you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the very next show. Bye-bye.